Valley with Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. Uh, we're here at the news desk. I mean, not the news desk. <laughs> the kitchen island. We're here at the kitchen island where everything just... It's fantasy island. Yeah, now. something. Um, anyway, we're doing the 40 question challenge. Um, so we are going to answer these questions. Who nominated us? Who tagged us? Who was... Uh, Little Feet Farm Homestead. Um, tagged us. So, that... Silly them. So we're we're doing it. <laughs> so um, anyway, so we're gonna start. Um, first question: Do you like blue cheese? It's not my favorite. I'll eat it. I don't even really like blue cheese dressing, but yeah, I, it's not bad if you have it like on a cracker or something. It's it's okay. I've never had blue cheese. Oh, well, we'll have to fix that. So I can't say yes or no. I don't know. Um, Coke or Pepsi? Yes. <laughs> he likes either one. Well, they're the same. I mean, I, what's the difference? It's a McDonald's or Burger, Burger King. It's, you know. Oh, yeah. There's it's basically John. There's a difference. There's a difference. I mean, not that I don't use Coke and Pepsi, <laughs> but I, I really have no preference. Right. I used to be Pepsi years ago, um, and then I stopped drinking soda, and uh, I mostly drink water. But when I do have soda, it's usually uh, Sprite or mostly more often ginger ale if I have it. Um, but I don't have soda that often. I don't really drink just soda very often. Not really. Not even, if I drink soda, there's usually a reason. No, I, usually, I guess uh, that's why. There's I don't usually know a say. little something mixed in there. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Oh, this is a tough one. In a relationship. <laughs> Last I checked. <laughs> it's not a tough one. Mm -hmm. Over 30 years. Woohoo. <laughs> and some said it would never last. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure they're still holding their breath. Well, okay. Let them keep holding. <laughs> okay. Wow. How are we going to answer this one? Whiskey, tequila, or vodka? <laughs> Am I supposed to rate those? <laughs> I what, like whiskey. I always have. Is it what day of the week? Or no? I can't speak for you. I don't know what your favorite fried liquor is, unless it's just mine by default. You only like whiskey because of me, or if you went to the I bar and had to like, have a shot of hard liquor. Yeah, I like certain kinds of. I like whiskey once in a while, but I don't. I'm not a huge drinker either. But um, I like whiskey once in a while. I also like tequila because I like um, my margaritas. Once in a while. Well, who doesn't love so, Baileys in their coffee? I mean, everybody vodka, everybody should like mm. Baileys in coffee. That's like awesome. Oh, yeah, Bailey. Well, that isn't on the list. Oh, I know, but so alcohol. we got to go through the list. Whiskey. Whiskey for him. Okay, and I, whatever. I'm not, again, not a big drinker. Once in a while, whiskey, and I like my margaritas, so tequila, too. But uh, hot dog or cheeseburger? I'm going to say cheeseburger for both of us because I think that's probably what you pick. Yeah, I, I think like I hot would. dogs. I do too. Um, but a good, big, too. juicy cheeseburger with all the fixings on it. I like I like uh, burgers more than I like dogs, but every now and then it's nice to have a hot dog just for right. a change. Right. So. So. Especially with a grill, you know, or right. a steamed one. The steamed hot dogs, yeah. oh, those are good. Those are good. Those yeah. are good. Yeah. Making me hungry. Favorite food? That's a hell of a question. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm going to say yes. No, I, uh, <laughs> you can say yes. Uh, mine, I think, uh, my, I like comfort foods, uh, but my favorite, like, mix of food is probably Thanksgiving dinner with, like, the turkey and the stuffing and the mashed potatoes. That's good. That's good. I like a whole meal, like a whole meal. Um, that's my favorite. I like stuff um, that we smoke on the smoker. Mm -hmm. You know, we got a wood smoker, and, and every now and then we'll do, uh, you know, like a brisket or something. That's really good. My only downfall of that is I'm the one that's got to tend the smoker, so I'm already full of smoke just tending the damn thing. So mm -hmm. when I taste it, it isn't as good as it is for everybody else. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, that's a, that's a big plus. I also... Oh, we like it. Nothing, nothing to me will beat uh, 
white-tailed deer, you know, venison or right. uh, moose meat. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. That's good, too. But... I know because there's looking so at many. me, how can you, you know, looking at me? You think you know? Well, there's a guy who probably really like loves salad. swordfish, or you know, I salad. You know, salad yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beef. It's what's for dinner. Yeah, I don't know. We're not real picky people, so. Um, what do you drink in the AM? I drink coffee and water. I have an altered schedule, so my AM is. Everybody else's PM a lot of the time, but if you would talk about like when I get out of bed, I like coffee and water too. Not much of a juice drinker really. I mean, sometimes by spells. Yeah, but. it all depends. Um, can you do 100 push-ups at once? At once? No. I could probably do 50. But I'm not going to, no way. I'm not even going to, no, I'm just going to say no. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to say no. Even if I did, I'd regret it for the next Yeah, week. it's going to hurt. No I used to be able to do a really lot, a whole lot of push-ups, but. Uh, favorite season? Um, I don't know. It's hard for me. Spring, probably, but I also like fall. But I also like summer, but sometimes it's too hot. So I, it's hard, I don't know. Spring, maybe, because there's so much new and you get to plant. And I like spring because I know summer's come in and we'll be able to spend time out on the deck. A nice warm summer nights Yeah, under the stars. You know, I love that. I used to really love fall because of hunting season, but not in the last 20 years or so after I lost my dad, it's not as big of a thing. Mm. So uh, I just, I don't know, I'm going to say spring, summer. Yep. Although I like winter too, actually. Mm. It makes it hard at work. At, when, I'm, when I'm at work, uh, winter is always hard. But um, winter's kind of, up here in Maine, it's kind of the downtime. Other than shoveling and plowing snow, all your other work is kind of done. So, I mean, you yeah. lug firewood in, put it in the stove, you know, keep the paths and the deck shoveled and keep the driveway plowed. But... Um, other than that, it's a very relaxing time. So that's kind of nice, too. Yeah. yeah, you can catch up on reading and inside Once it warms up, we have so many, so much other stuff to do. You have yeah, it's so a whole winter's worth of ideas to catch up on, plus another whole year's firewood and, mm. you know, planting and all of the, everything else that we do. Yep. So. Yep. Um, favorite hobby? So I'll go first. <laughs> Uh, I don't have one. I have a few. Um, my chickens are my hobby. Um, I feel like YouTube is kind of my hobby right now. Like it's, it might even be a part-time bordering on full-time job once in a while. It all depends. Um, but so that's kind of my hobby. And then I like to do woodworking and crafting and repurposing, um, you know, thrifted items or even thrown away items that you know, furniture and whatnot that people might want to get rid of. So um, that's been one for a long time, before the chickens even. So, um, yeah, so that's mine. But I <laughs> probably have a few. You have a few too. But. Um, I like, um, I do a lot of hand loading. You know, that's probably no surprise if you've seen any of our other videos. Um, and that's fun. I enjoy that. And it's a hobby, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll say that. I mean, it's not an occupation, so what else would you think it would be? And I guess, although I make money from it, so I guess you could say it's a part-time job, but uh, I also uh, play guitar and sing in a, in a bar band, believe it or not. Although not so much in the past, uh, I don't know, nine, ten months or so. The yeah, that's big been virus thing is cutting pretty well that pretty shut cool. off. But yeah. it's been nice to have the time off too, because it, it does get to be like a second job sometimes. But uh, it's fun, you know. I have a lot of fun. I've been doing it ever since I uh, got out of high school, pretty much. So anyway, I guess that's my that's my big hobby. And back around again with the same people that you were. 
That is correct. That yes, I actually play with the same. A few bands in between, and yeah. now he's back around to the. <laughs> Many bands in between, but I'm, I yeah. actually play with the first band I was really ever in. Yeah. Right out of high school. Yep. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, tattoos. Nope. Nope. Now, if you want to talk about scars. <laughs> those oh, could yeah. be tattoos, too, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, we've got a few of those. Glasses or no glasses? Mm, I wonder. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I'm, sp I'm probably, yes, sp they haven't told me I have to, but it does help. So I wear glasses quite a bit of the time, too. Yeah. Phobias. Mm, glasses? No, not glasses. <laughs> uh, phobias. Um... People. People. <laughs> Yeah. Which is kind of strange for somebody that plays in a band. Um, <laughs> I don't mind. I could go play in front of a thousand people. It doesn't bother me at all. Send me to Walmart and I do not like it. Yeah. I just don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. Um, yeah. I don't um, like cities. I don't like any places where people congregate. I used to love going to big rock concerts and stuff like that. And I'd love to go now, but I know that I would not like it once I was there. Too many people at those yeah, I just I would rather just kind of. Uh, yeah. So that's I'm, my fault. I'm thinking smaller stuff. Like, I mean, I'm not a fan of spiders and snakes. Not that I don't like them. I mean, I just don't. I don't know. They're just creepy crawly and they freak me out. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not scared of people either. I just don't like it. Like, I don't avoid going out in public or anything. I just, given the choice, I will always stay home. Yeah, we like to stay home. Um, nicknames. Sweetie Pie, Honey Bunch. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> hey, you. Um, I've been called Scotty by numerous friends yes. many times, but that's... I was That just popped in my head as you said that. I was thinking Scotty. And of course, um, you're Shelly. Shelly. Instead my, of Michelle. Yeah, so. yeah, my, I guess those are nicknames. My actual name is Michelle, and I've been known as Shelly for... I don't know, even from, since I was little, little, little. I've been called a lot of stuff. Yeah. I would call them nicknames. Right, yeah. Some <laughs> of them are, yeah, I've been called other things too, but whatever. Um, favorite candy. What's my favorite candy? Not anything specific. Not Perrielle's. <laughs> that's yours. No, it's not. <laughs> no, I know that's not yours. Mine, I that was what you like. no, well, I do like them, but that's not my favorite. My favorite is anything caramel, and I also like um, the those peanuts, the circus peanuts that everybody oh, hates, the, the marshmallow, orange, the orange marshmallow, marshmallow yeah, everybody those are hates kind them, of good every now and then. But I like them once in a while. Um, They're kind of like cotton candy gone bad. It's yeah, <laughs> it's solidified. But anything caramel is my is my dad. I love caramel. I am not a big candy eater, really. I really don't eat much candy. Oh, uh, well, I don't either, but given the choice. I, yeah. I really like, if I'm going to eat candy, I think Reese's Peanut Butter Cups mm -hmm. are probably my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's true. <laughs> I think Santa brings you some in your stocking every year. He knows, too. Um, do you believe in ghosts? What a fitting question at this time of Halloween. <laughs> That's a tough one because, I mean, I guess it depends on what you call a ghost. Yeah. I believe in spirits. I do too. So I guess that would be a yes. Yeah. I guess if that's the same. Yep. Biggest downfall. <laughs> I got this coffee mug just for this question. Well, while you're drinking the chicken mug, I will... Uh... Got little chickies all over it. Baby chicks is I mine. guess probably mine would be spending too much money on uh, guitars, amplifiers, and guns. That's, I mean, I, I guess it's a strange combination unless you're Hank Williams Jr. Or, <laughs> but hey. Is that really a downfall? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I have kind of evened off that whole thing, so I don't know if that's even a downfall anymore. Right. Anyhow. It all depends on how you look at it. Rain or snow? 
Are we talking about which one we'd rather have or which yeah. one we... Okay. Yeah, which, which, which one would you rather? Well, what do you rather? I would think that where we plow... Probably depends on the time. I don't even know. I, I we plow, I, If I had to add the... I can't imagine what the annual snowfall is here a year as far as if you added it all up, but... Right. It's got to be six feet, so... And we don't ever really have six feet on the ground at any given time, right. but... Sometimes it's happened. So I'm going to say rain. <laughs> it just plows so much easier. I'm going to need to know what time of year it is and well, that's the true temperature. Because <laughs> no. uh, I don't want rain in the winter. That stinks here. Wow. Yeah, that's true Icy too. and that's yucky. Um, and then snow in the, in the summer. That would be kind of weird. Well, snow um, in the spring is good because it's like poor man's fertilizer. Even yeah. though it's hard to deal with, it's, it really it helps your gardens and stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess it depends. I mean, it depends on the time of year. I can't answer that. I'm sorry. I would have said, I, if, I get you know, a penalty if you, if you want to, uh, doesn't matter. If you want to take it into, you know, that level, if you looked at fishing, I like to ice fish more than I like to fish. Okay. So, I'd have to say snow on that one, but I don't know. That's a hard one. I say it's too cold. One. Too cold ice fishing. Take it but as then, it comes. Then, when you go fishing, it's too buggy. Like regular fishing in the spring and summer. Oh, uh, let's see what else we got. What did we just do? Rain or snow? Piercings. Do we have any piercings? Not on purpose. <laughs> I just have my ears. And I, I don't know the last time I've worn earrings. So, um, Age? My age? You want to know my age? <laughs> We're in our 50s. Let's just say that. I'm going to be mid-50s here right off. Fries or onion rings? Yes. Yes. <laughs> like them both. Um, yeah, we like them both. We don't have onion rings as often, and we don't have fries that often, but once in a while. So, But they're both good. They're Depends like on the onion rings, too. All onion rings are not created equal. Right. Do you have children? Yes. We have two children. One grandchild. And one grandchild and two, um, well, I shouldn't say, in -law, two in-laws. We have a son-in-law and a, and a daughter-in-law. There we go. I was going to say two in-laws, but I guess I better elaborate a little bit more. So, yep, we have a son and a daughter. Um, Who are in, adults. Yes. One I lives in Colorado. Me. One lives in New Hampshire. Both married and our daughter has the little girl Katie that you guys see every once in a while if you check out some of our other videos she'll be in in them every once in a while when she's here so um where are we favorite color gray green burgundy black <laughs> I'm not really picky. I like all colors, really. Doesn't yeah, it's tough for me, too. Um, yeah. Black, I guess. Black. I don't know. You look good in red. I look good in red. Yeah. Okay. So red I have been burdened with a lot of red vehicles over the years, too. Yes. Not on purpose. It just happened that way. Yep. Can you sing? Me? Yeah, can you sing? I've been paid to. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't paid me to stop yet. Right, I know. <laughs> so, yeah, he sings in his band. Um, I sing in the shower, in the truck. You can sing. I sing once in a while. Just belt out little little things, you never know. Can you whistle? <laughs> I'd say that's a yes. Pitch perfect. <laughs> yeah, I would say so too. Um, where were you born? I was born in Maine. Yep, me too. Right here in uh, Western Maine. Yep. Uh, siblings. Yes, I have siblings. I have a few. Yep, a few sisters and a brother. I had a uh, sister and a brother. My brother passed away, so I'm just down to one. Just my older sister. Yep. Can you cook? Yes. Yes, you can. Can I cook? Yes. I can. You okay. can. Yes. I thought it was important to get an opinion from Yes. You. 
and he, someone else. He cooks good too. He's really good. Really good omelets. He's just he's a good cook. Um can you swim? Yes. Yep. Are you religious? Um I believe in God. Um probably lean towards Christian, but we don't go to church or anything. Our church is more outside and being. being I consider myself a Christian, nature. but I'm not a big fan of organized religion. Right. I guess that's the best yeah. way to put it. Yeah. Um, shower or bath? How sore am I? Right. We <laughs> take showers all the time. We don't take baths because we're off grid. So it just runs the pump a lot to fill up the tub, but we do have a big old tub in the master bath that we could if we wanted to. And I have in the past taken Yeah, baths. and I have too. I mean, I like a bath every now and then if you yeah, if you if get really cold. If you're sore. Yeah, you get sick. And baths are really nice. Mm -hmm. um, but most of the time. Yeah, most of the time I just jump in the shower. So we just shower people. Yeah. Um, big city or outdoors? For real? <laughs> <laughs> yep. You must be kidding. <laughs> I would say we're both outdoors. Definitely no big city. Um, you can't see another man-made light from anywhere on this property any season. I like it that way. Yeah. So I'd say not the city. <laughs> Definitely not the city. Um, are you a good friend? Sometimes. <laughs> I'd have to ask my friends. Yeah. Um, I have very few close, close friends. And I feel like that the ones that I do have are very good friends. Yeah. I try to be a good friend, but sometimes things get really busy around here. And it's like, yeah. But I try to support my friends. Like if they need help or selling yeah. something or yeah. need somebody to talk to. I, was, I would think I try you're a good friend. To, yeah, I try to be a good yeah. friend. So... Um, yeah, again, I think you'd have to ask our friends to yeah, find out. Yeah, yeah. Send out a uh, survey, I guess. Yes. Let's, let's probably let's do that. With my friends, you know what they write on it? <laughs> like you'd never get a real answer. Oh, I know. Yeah. Um, worst pain ever. I know what you're going to say. Because <laughs> I was there. <laughs> Yours? Um, mine is, um. Childbirth? I don't know, though. I didn't feel a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they were both okay. C-sections. So, um, I don't know. I would say, you know, I've had a few kidney stones that are pretty bad, but nothing that would put me down. Um, migraines, pretty bad. Um, but I have had a few surgeries, too. Um, and the after effects of that, obviously, are bad. So, you know, any of those. I have fallen off from motorcycles and skidded down the highway at 50 miles an hour and turned myself into Hamburg. I've broken bones. I've, I've uh, been caught with a chainsaw. Worst pain ever? Kidney stone. Hands down. Yeah. Unbelievable pain. Unbelievable. To the point where I browned out, passed out. It was terrible. I think it's worth, worse for some people than it is others, I'm sure. But, that, yeah, for me, that was that was it. Yeah, I would say that, that I was, you know, around for some of those when I wasn't at work. So it was pretty, pretty bad. Do you like to dance? Uh, yeah. No. Uh, no. I'll make the music. She'll dance to it. <laughs> I'll tap my foot. Exactly. That's what I have my friends for, so that's why I'm a good friend, because I drag my friends along, and we're all dancing around on the floor. And if there's a cover charge, that makes me money. Right. That's right. Um, let's see, where are we? How many TVs do we have? We have two TVs. That is true. And well, really one, only one we ever use. One, I don't even know when we've turned that on. When I've turned it I on. I turned it on about a month ago one day. Oh, all right. Well, but I only watched it. I only watched it while I was getting up. If something was happening. I turned it on the news. I, oh, but, that's terrible. I know it had to be pretty bad. I should know better. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah. So two TVs and one was the only one. Once in a while, we'll watch it. Um. Now we have we DVR a lot of stuff because we don't like the commercials. 
Do you like camping? Yes, and we used to camp a lot. I agree. But now we live... I mean, actually, our old house where we were, it wasn't that bad either. We could have No, camped. but that wasn't we could, like We that. actually this... have camped there. We've had the camper open yeah. and, and done that. But This is truly off-grid. This is sort of like camping anyway. Yeah. It's just not... We I still like camping. And, uh... I still like camping, but um, I don't feel the need to escape and go camping as much since we've lived yeah. here. I don't and know I how certainly don't it. feel like putting up a tent and laying on the ground. That's definitely not... Now, I have a friend who's got a camp up anymore. north. Every now and then we go up, and that's mm -hmm. very much primitive compared to what this place is. Yeah. Um, it's more of an off-grid. Yeah, that's really yeah, that's really off-grid. Like, no yeah. plumbing, no electricity, which is fine. I love this camp. it's like here in the middle of the night or in the morning. It's so quiet. Like, you can just hear nothing. <laughs> you just hear nothing. Um it's the blood so, pulsing through yes, the ears. Yeah, it's so quiet, and it, that's the way it is here. Wood too. stove popping. Yeah. Um, you like camping? Are you weird? Absolutely. Yeah. I Especially mean, by society standards. Life is not fun unless you're weird. <laughs> I mean, maybe some people don't think we're weird. <laughs> No, I don't care sure what people do. think. <laughs> I really don't. That's what makes me weird. Right, right. Um, okay, so now we're down to the part where we have to tag some people for to do the 40 questions. Um, so we are going to tag Rustic Traditions Homestead. I don't know if they've done it yet. I didn't notice that they had. They're the ones that won our end of the Harvest Moon giveaway. Um, and they won our, the tray that I made, the table green sack tray. Um, so I'm tagging them. Um, finding happiness in all you do. She's one of our first friends way back when we, not way back, I should, way, way back in July when first, we started. One of our first subscribers. Yeah, right? yep, yep. And she's very, they're very sweet people. Um, Dutch Creek Cabin, Drew over there at Dutch Creek Cabin, I watch his videos a lot, he's a good friend of, um, Jeff at Bobblehead Homestead, um, and I, he's a nice young man, and, um, so we're gonna tag him, and Journey Along with Shannon is another one that we're tagging, um, she's a nice girl that, um, I don't know, I shouldn't say girl, nice woman, nice person. Uh, and she has a really good channel, and uh, she does a lot of cooking, and um, they go touring around to different parks and stuff. So uh, those are the ones that we've tagged. We could, uh, we could tag the alumnas over to Alumna Acres. I'm sure they'll never see this, so it won't matter anyway. But, yeah, they're kind of a big But uh, they're, big uh, they're right down channel. the street from some really close family to us. And we accidentally figured out where they lived. We never bothered them. We've never <laughs> contacted them or anything. But it's like, look, look, we've actually run into them in the store before. And it's like, hey, look. But, you know, we just kind of keep everything low key. <laughs> but anyway, so we could do that. Yeah, well, we could try it. Who what knows? Hey, what the heck? Hey, what the anyway, hell? that was fun. Hopefully you learned just a little something about us. And Hope well, we've uh, been enjoying our uh, our videos. Yeah. You guys have any suggestions on uh, anything you'd like to see more of, or less of? Or less of. Um, yeah, comment, please. Let us know. Mm. We've had some videos take right off lately, and it it seems like there's a lot of interest right now in the uh, kind of the prepping uh, mindset. So I guess uh, I'll have to get back into that a little bit in my. In my own head. I mean, that was something I did a long time ago. That's really kind of what led us here. Was we just wanted to be out of, off the beaten path, out of the way. Yep. For all kinds of reasons. Just but be able to do our own thing and, and kind of be left alone. And that's right. That's right. But, have our uh, chickens. and. If you do enjoy our channel and uh, you like our videos. Right. What do they got to do? Subscribe. <laughs> She bought me this. Superman. That's like a Superman pose. It's my phone boo. <laughs> so, yeah, subscribe. 
Um, go down, hit the like button. Ring the bell. Ring the bell for future videos because we have some. We've got some all ready to go, ready to roll. We're probably going to do another one right after this. And <laughs> we Maybe. Are. I don't know. Oh, we're no, on a roll. <laughs> we're on a cinnamon bun. Um, anyway, so <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Wow. Roll. Okay. So, so, yeah, yeah, never mind. Yeah. Don't, don't explain it. Um, anyway, like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, tell us what you think. Yeah. Any suggestions? Be nice. <laughs> I don't care if you're nice or, or don't. Or don't. Whatever. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys later. And we're out of here. Bye. Bye.